How you doing guys? It's Mark from Cars and Cameras and today we're talking monitors and we're talking taking a Mac Mini and getting 4K at 60 Hertz. Is it possible? We'll keep watching the video and find out. So we're going to use this LG TV that's a new model. It's the UH6100 series. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it and see if we can take this Mac Mini. Now this Mac Mini has not been changed since late 2014. It's still the current one today. So this display has IPS and 4K HDR Pro, and we're going to go ahead and unbox it and hook it up. And the goal here is to get this display working at 4K at 60 Hertz. So will it be possible? Well, let's see. So let's get this thing uh, assembled and on my desk. Wow, there it is, guys. And let me tell you something. I can already tell you. I'm pretty sure this is 60 hertz because as I've been moving the mouse pointer around, I haven't seen any lag. So look at that beautiful display all running on a Mac Mini. So there is the, the display properties. So, but let's go ahead and, and dive into scaled and see if we are at uh, 4K at 60 hertz. And I'm pretty sure we are, but let's go ahead and click it and see. Oh yes, we are. We are at 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. I have achieved my goal of getting this to work. Now I want to make a point that we're using this on a Mac Mini, and um, this will also work on you know different 13-inch MacBook Pros because they're the similar guts to the Mac Mini, and of course the higher end of MacBook Pros that that are uh, have the more advanced processors. So this is going to work on everything above a Mac Mini. So if you have a Mac computer, you're going to get this to work. And how do we do this? Well, we're going to do this with this um, mini display port to HDMI adapter. This is the first step in making this uh, work. And you can see here plugged into the back of the Mac mini. The next step is software. You're going to need to download software called SwitchRec software. Look uh, on the YouTube page in the item description. I will have a link to that. Also, I have a link to this adapter that you're going to need to use, the one that I just showed you, where you can find that. And um, here's the monitor again. It just looks beautiful. And there is a the vintage 30-inch cinema display for comparison. But for 4K video, that was fine for 1080p. But for 4K, this is what you need. And you can see how sharp and clear you know everything looks. Look at those fonts. They look absolutely stunning. And I mean, look how razor sharp uh, I know it's hard to see through the video, but the edge of that, that cliff is just sharp and clear. It just looks stunning. Here's some video. How does, it, how does the video look? It's smooth and sharp. Everything looks fantastic. Um, the, other, the big one for me is how does it work with Final Cut Pro? It works fantastic with Final Cut Pro. Um, you know, it got rid of that mouse lag. You know, when you move the mouse pointer around, that's gone. And it just works really well. I'm really excited about this, uh, this uh, new setup. So guys, um, like I said before, if you look in the YouTube uh, description, I will have a link on where to find uh, these adapter and the software. Also, I'm going to have very soon a step-by-step -step, uh, how-to video to do this. Um, it's very simple. Uh, there's just a few things you need to do. But um, anyway, thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Uh, it, uh, I love this new monitor. Uh, it's a, kind of an upgrade to the 40-inch display that I bought last year. Um, but this new 43-inch monitor is really stunning, this new LG. I really like it. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you very soon. Thank you very much.